Workspace Books, Hugo Krause, Recipes for the Workspace. So in this book there are uh, some recipes for Japaning and um, I will put all recipes in the description so everyone can benefit. It's a German book. Here we have the Japaning part. It has two sides of um, different Japaning and lax and lakes. Here's the recipe for very fine Japaning 16 kilogram linseed oil, 2 kilogram Paris blue pigments, 12 kilogram colophonium and asphatum. So this is um, uh, both combined because um, it will um, first you would melt colophonium and asphaltum in um, one bowl till it's uh, Nutella and um, and then you put all the other ingredients into that um, uh, liquid. And so we have um, here um, one, two, three, four, five and six recipes for Japaning and I will put them in the description so you can see um, and look what's best for you. And we also have some uh, top coat recipes with asphaltum and they're containing and it is and it is made with uh, two parts asphaltum, two parts colophonium and two parts bee wax and on top ten parts turpentine oil. Uh, that's also very interesting. Maybe I will test it too. Don't know. Maybe. So now we will um, mix a very little amount of Japan Lekke and um, yes. Here. And now we need 3.5 grams asphaltum. Okay. 3.65, 3 it's okay. Mention that I um, pressed the tear button again after. I put in the asphaltum, uh, so I um, ingest the turpentine with a syringe into my veins. Six grams of turpentine. Very good smell. Five point three two. Sorry, put Yes, okay.
And now I will wait up to a week or two weeks till this is uh, dissolved. Sometimes it takes very long and um, we will see. I will tell you how long it will take and then I will put in some linseed oil and um, some natural resin. Yes. By the way, I'm filming on a white carpet. Can you see this? Yes. I waited one week. It wasn't actually necessary because uh, it was dissolved in two days, but I thought well, let's give it a week. Okay, and now we are um, adding 0 0.75 grams of natural resin. Nama resin. Okay, 0 0.75. Two point no zero point two nine. That's too much. That's one gram. Seventy eight. That's just right. I waited up to 24 hours to uh, that the resin can dissolve and um, as a result I realized that it would take a ton amount of time so I heat treated it with a heat plate and um, now it seems to be liquid and and now I will add linseed oil. Maybe I should heat treat it too to get the linseed oil in there and get a nice mix. New recipe, second recipe, Japan wax, colophonium, and asphaltum, asphaltum. Yes, perfect. Everything together looks like this And now we're gonna melt this before we add turpentine
we have here every mixes that I made for the first this is only Dama resin in uh, turpentine this is the mix with Damar and this is the mix with Japan wax or berry, berry wax and uh, this is a retail product that um, a shop in Germany um, offers. This is also um, legit <laughs> legit um, uh, asphalt lack asphaltum lack um, in turpentine but uh, the, this has um, um, interesting details this is uh, this uh, mix contains uh, colophonium or rosin um, and um, it has um, also another um, solvent in it uh, butanol and um, I guess it's because um, they don't want to heat treat this uh, stuff um, especially uh, rosin uh, so they uh, took an, a solvent that will completely dissolve rosin because uh, turpentine doesn't completely dissolve rosin okay so I made um, uh, some tests here are the tests okay this is the first test this is the Dummer um, uh, it was um, I was unable to is it good yes or no this is better uh, this it was the first test. I was unable to um, um, brush it. It was too hard, so I always added test three, test four. I added more turpentine, so the liquid uh, would be more, yeah, more liquid. And um, uh, so the dummer was at first uh, not brushable, and the wax for uh, example was uh, brushable but a, still a bit thick very it, it was pretty thick and um, then test 2 was better and test 3 and and in the end I also made up here a test with the um, with uh, the wax and um, now we're up to 70 grams of turpentine and now it is very um, a brushable it's um, slight maybe it's slightly too liquid and um, this is the retail product it uh, has a very nice shine I hope you can see this it has a very nice shine and we'll make close-ups the wax product is uh, uh, pretty um, matte. I, I guess it's because of the uh, of the um, berry wax, the Japan wax, and um, the Dama uh, version is pretty close uh, uh, to the retail version. Um, it's uh, very shiny, very glossy. Um, yes, this right here, I hope you see the spot, this is clear Dama resin, it's just plain resin and I hope you can see it works fine, it would work fine as a clear coat, it has a nice shine reflectations yes so I will add every uh, every um, modified recipe 
so you can um, look and decide which is best for you. I guess I have uh, plenty of uh, room for experiments with asphaltum because I'm not yet satisfied with the end result. The Dummer end result is good, it's really good, um, but I want a more... I'm not satisfied. We'll see, I will experiment more and maybe I will make an extra video. In one of the next videos I will make an evaporust recipe and there will be also one about a glue recipe called continental glue or tank glue.